Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. We love that you're here. I literally can't take them. I mean, mom was literally crying and she was bawling. She was so excited. We're gonna take a family one. Come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. I've never done a CrossFit workout. Let's get that bar up and under oh your chin. God. Oh, there's the calorie counter right there. I'm not tired. Please just make it, just make it, just make it. You said you needed help. I brought some help. Great job. These guys are pros. Turn around, take it all in. We are going to dissect a frog. Do they have kidneys? George, yeah. he, he went for it. Oh, there's a stomach. Oh my God. This is George the Rescue. How's it going, everyone? For 12 seasons, George the Rescue has combined human interest storytelling with home renovation to spotlight and support deserving people in need. And over that time, we have made incredible relationships with families, volunteers, organizations, and of course, our loyal viewers. So this week, we are going to catch up with some amazing people who we have helped out in the past. Starting with my man, Danny Marquino. When Danny was three years old, he was diagnosed with a rare form of pediatric brain cancer. He's bravely overcome tons of obstacles in his life and is thankfully doing great. Back in March of 2020, just before the COVID-19 pandemic, we created a beautiful New York Mets themed bedroom for Danny. And as a cherry on top, his favorite team surprised the Marquino family. The Mets would like to invite you out to City Field for a one of a kind batting practice experience. Unfortunately, the pandemic put this on hold until now. We're here at City Field to give the Marquinos an experience they'll never forget. I love watching the Mets games a lot. I'm really excited to see George at a baseball game. Yeah. Yeah, we're excited. so excited. He's the best. Great guy. Great guy. Welcome to City Field. What's up, Danny? How are you, buddy? Good, how about you? Huh? It's been too long. How are you guys all doing? Good? How are you? How you doing, bud? I'm doing great. I'm doing better Thank because you. I'm here at City Field with you guys. Heart's beating a little, right? I know, it's beating hard. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. You know, there's people who are fans of their team, and then there's the Marquinos. So I'm excited to sit with you and just have have a good old day at the ballpark. What do you say? Yeah. yeah. Huh? M-E-T-S, Mets, Mets, Mets. Oh, the hugs, the love. This is so exciting for them. You can see it on Danny's face, just ear to ear grin, and mom's face, and everybody. These are hardcore Mets fans. Well, we've been Mets fans our whole life. True story, Brenna, her middle name is Shay. We named her Brenna Shay because we love the Mets so much. And then they moved to City Field. So it's not that good of a story anymore. So Leah was almost City. <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't it didn't work. I grew up a baseball nut. I, I loved just baseball cards, games. It's fun to be in the stadium, but when you're on the field and you're seeing it all happen, it's just magical. Yeah, Ooh. mostly second base. He so actually plays hard. anywhere. Take that times a thousand for Danny, because this just means so much to him. For him to be able to see the players and to, to literally, for them to come up and take pictures with him. First one up was, was James McCann. He came over, gave him a ball, autographed it, and that really just started it. You don't miss one pitch? Nope. The only person that's like that is uh, my mom. She doesn't miss a single pitch. <laughs> you excited to be here today? I'm really excited to be here today. Whether it's the balls getting signed or when Dom Smith came over and gave Danny his batting gloves, and then Danny put them on, his smile literally is beaming off his face. Oh, Danny. What? <laughs> Wow. Shame, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, they look good, buddy. Nice. <laughs> Not wiping that grin off your face, are we? Aww. That was pretty cool, huh? That was really cool. <laughs> All the Marquinos are wearing different jerseys. Larry Sr.'s got his Gary Carter jersey on. Mom's got a DeGrom jersey. Danny is wearing a Francisco Lindor jersey comes out of the dugout, he sees Danny over there, he comes over, he's like, what's up, Danny? Danny turns around, his eyes are his biggest saucers. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. We love that you're here. Oh my god. You want me to sign the ball for you? Yes, please. You got the right jersey on. Thank you so much. Do you mind signing his jersey, too? Francisco Lindor signs the back of Danny's Lindor jersey. I mean, I think that that was it. You know, that was the pinnacle moment for their experience. And the game hasn't even started, but they are already on cloud nine. 
Yeah, we can take your family one. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. You get it. That's not, I want it that side. <laughs> I don't know who is more excited, Danny or Mom. I literally can't take them. I mean, Mom was literally crying. and She was bawling. She was so excited. She's obviously the Mets fan in the family. She's the one that everyone else follows, and I'm pretty sure that Danny, since he was a kid, has been following Mom's lead, cheering for the Mets. Crazy. Are we doing all right? Wow. That was awesome. Huh? Wow. That was crazy. I don't think you'll sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That was the most amazing time I've ever had it in a baseball crazy. game. Did you love that? I really loved it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could actually hear their conversations. We were right on top of them. When the ball hit the bat, it was boom, you know? It was just great, unbelievable. It's yeah, home run is way further than I thought it was. <laughs> I would say to George, thank you so much for everything you did for me, and I really appreciate everything. And I just want to say thank you for being such a great friend to me. Yeah, the rescue just really changed everything, especially COVID happened right after. But going into your room every night, I always felt like I was going into a hotel. Changed our whole lives. No, it's an honor to be part of the George the Rescue family. For me, to be here with them and just see their reaction and see their excitement and their enthusiasm, it's one of those moments I'll never forget. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. In early 2021, I had the honor and privilege of meeting and rescuing the Martinez family. Hello. Hi, George! Anna and Oscar met while they were serving our country in Iraq. And they don't just put their lives on the line when they're abroad, they also do it in their own community. Anna is a police officer, Oscar is a firefighter. We were able to create a safe basement play space for their children. How do I and a full gym store set up to help them stay in tip-top shape for their demanding jobs. A full gym? I want to make sure that Anna and Oscar have been putting this home gym to good use. And I think I have the perfect way to do so. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> it's been too long. Oh. I've been telling you, I was going to come and I, I wanted a membership to the Martinez gym. I had to stay true to my promise that I would work out with you guys sometimes. So today, I have invited my friends Anna and Oscar Martinez to Gorilla Fitness, which is a CrossFit gym, to do a workout here. It's going to be 15 minutes, right? So it's not going to be too, too long, but just enough to get you to work. Just get the sweat dripping. Greg is leading the charge. He is uh, hes going to be our coach today. We're going to see what happens. Military, right? Yes. Rope, fine. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I am definitely worried about the rope, which I haven't done since literally gym class with Bo Yenny. What's up, Bo? Jim, the heaviest one. Give George the heaviest one? <laughs> Great, yeah. thanks. There's extra weight on that one. Jeez. Oh, I've never done a CrossFit workout. <sighs> Wish me luck. Go. Go time. Yeah. Oh. All right, so feet just outside of your hips. Put those toes out just a little bit. Want all weight in the heels of your feet, George. Good. Push, press. Let's get that bar up and under your chin. Pull your head back and punch straight over. That's it, George. Wrap those thumbs around that bar. Can we do 10 of those? <laughs> yeah, I think I got a golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. Which one when you have it on the inside? Ah, uh, hurts. I think Oscar you're, has you're, advantage. You're hopping and puffing already. You guys are basically professional athletes. I mean, military, fire, police, you guys work out. Come on, George. Come on. You're too slow. Woo. Uh, man. You're going backwards, George. Story of my life. <laughs> How do I know? Oh, there's the calorie counter right there. Oh, it's only one calorie. Oscar and Anna were lapping me and smiling the entire time. Look at Anna. She's got the hair blowing. Somebody's Perfect for the camera. <laughs> Anna doesn't even sweat. You can tell who are the professionals here and who's the television host. I need to work out with them a little bit more. I mean, I got a dad bod, all right? I got four kids. I'm, I eat too much mac and cheese. What can I say? Last but not least, you got your ropes. All right, so these ropes are a little bit friendlier than some of the other ropes in that they've got some knots on them, so it'll help you get up that rope. So as you're pulling up, you want to get your feet right onto that knot, good strong hold, and pop up. Hips up, hips up, hips up. Good, good, good. Get those knots. Good. All the way, all the way. Who's tired? I'm not tired. Please just make it, just make it, just make it. Touch the top. Good. Woo. Slow down, slow down. On the way down. Good. 
And this is just a loop. We just do wash and re repeat. We wash, rinse, um. Keep it going over here, you two. In our line of work, you have to work through feeling tired. You have to work through feeling fatigued because at the end of that haul, somebody is praying that you're there to rescue them and you can't quit. You can't stop because you're tired. Come on, Shaw. Last five minutes. My last five minutes of life. Come on, Shaw. Did you double that me? Four, three, two, five. Oh, holy smokes, guys. That was the job, guys. longest 15 minutes of my life. Right? Today's work was a little challenging, it was. but it was fun. You did it. Talk about putting your money where your mouth is. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. You can see that the gym that we put in for Oscar and Anna, they've been using because just, just roll the tape. Look what they did. Thank you so much, George, for the renovation. Our basement is thriving, and, and we're so grateful that um, we're able to uh, reunite with you again. Let's do it again. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. All right, yeah, this, yeah start the clock. <laughs> George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Filtreat Air Filtration Products. For more info, go to filtreat.com. Way back in 2013, George the Rescue created a multifunctional teen lounge at the Boys and Girls Club of Newark, New Jersey. This community center provides a safe and enriching environment for Newark's youth. Our project kicked off several additional interior renovations that have taken their programs to another level. Now, I have really missed the Boys and Girls Club staff and spirit and figured it was time to return for an uplifting exterior project that I'll highlight all the amazing work that goes on there. With the help of my friend, New Jersey native Louis Blocka, we are going to add a mural to help inspire the community and the next generation of members. A big phrase that they use here at the club is shoot for the moon. So we want the kids to kind of strive for excellence, strive for greatness. So the mural is going to reflect that. I love it. I'm a big fan of public art. Putting something that is motivational, something that's inspirational, that's important. So I think the hardest part about painting a mural is kind of the, the planning beforehand and actually executing it. The more hands you have, the better, because big walls require a lot of hands and a lot of work. You said you needed help. I brought some help. Priming and prepping will probably be best for them. Uh, is that good? Yeah, yeah, because it's always good to participate in things that you own. And this is their mural. This is definitely a point of pride. So I'm here to help, but uh, Louis the boss. You guys ready? You don't, do you don't sound excited. You guys ready? Yeah, you guys ready? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go. You know, we're going to have a lot of different painters of all different ages. People are going to be excited. You never know where those rollers may go. So I'm going to use some Scotch exterior surface painter's tape. That way, if any paint does get up on the windowsill, it'll come right off as soon as we remove the tape. But when you have something rough like this, you're going to want to use the rough surface tape. That's a special brush. Great job. These guys are pros. My mom never let me paint a wall. Your mom never let you paint a wall? No. Oh my goodness. Louis is a former art teacher, so he understands how to work with kids. Grab it. There oh, you go. Hold on to it tight. Who's sweating? Me. Me. Today was, was 91 degrees outside, sweating bullets all day. We're trying to paint this wall, and the paint is just evaporating. You guys all good in here? Hi. Me and the kids, we did some priming. We got some paint all over the place. Louis is killing it. The mural looks beautiful, but I got to find some sort of project. There's got to be somewhere that I can help. Hey, anything? Wow. I mean, you can see that from the window out there. Definitely looks like this is the wall that gets hit the most by moving furniture. Oh man, I think this should be like, eh, here's your problem. This is the room that needs a little George to rescue love. So I have prepped the wall. I am ready for the 3M high strength crack repair. It's perfect for drywall, ceiling, stucco, and concrete. All you need to do is a little sand, some paint, and it's good as new. Quickly reinvigorate your wall space with Scotch Painter's Tape and 3M. Repair those pesky nicks and nail holes. Get sharp paint lines and take your heavyweight decor to another level. It's all about having the right tools for the job. For more information, visit 3MDIY.com.
Wow, Louie, you just plowed right through, sweated it out, and got this thing done, and it is phenomenal. Thanks, George. Thanks, my friend. You got it. I made it through the whole mural without paint on my beard or my shirt. This might be a first. You're not too bad of an artist. I might, I might have to hire you as my assistant for the future project. I'm a good assistant. So up here we used the Scotch exterior surface painter's tape. Look at that, clean removal, no residue. And this tape has literally been baking in the sun. Our mural is done. Let's show the kids here at the Boys and Girls Club how you shoot for the moon. One, two, three. Turn around, take it all in. Yeah. This astronaut right here, this could be any one of you guys. That's right. Shoot for the moon. I let the bear get the boy fly to the air. I think my fellow classmates will call this place beautiful because it really is beautiful. The mural is super fun and good to catch your dreams. This epitomizes what we stand for for our young people. We want them to be the best that they can ever be, to know that there's no ceiling, that they can bust through any cloud and make it to the moon, pass the moon to the stars. So thank you guys again. Go out there and be great. It's great to see a new generation of kids be able to connect with George and be able to undertake this project and be able to call their own, just as eight years ago we were able to call that Teen Center project our own. I feel very proud of this mural because I helped paint. I am so proud of the Boys and Girls Club and everything they do. And it was a real honor to team up with Louie and paint this mural, which I hope inspires lots of kids for years to come. Hey, I'm George Oliphant, host of George the Rescue. With fall here, it's time to change your filter. You want to change your one inch filters every three months, six to 12 months for your larger filters. Caring for your home starts with caring for the air inside. For more info, visit filtry.com. In 2021, we helped Medina Eatman, AKA the science teacher mom, grow her educational based business that incredibly she runs out of her basement. Medina makes exciting science kits for families. And our renovation made her operation way more organized and technically advanced. This is don't everything. Cry. Don't cry, <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> this is everything. Oh my gosh. As an added surprise, 3M, through their partnership with Donors Choose, donated $15,000 for Medina to start a STEM program at Mont Hall 5 in Bronx, New York. <laughs> no, please, thank you. You deserve it. <laughs> I couldn't be more excited to reunite with Medina to see how those funds are impacting her deserving students. Life after George to the Rescue came to our home to fix up our basement, we have been busy doing science, busy sharing science, and so being able to share this with our school, my whole five, is going to be amazing. I understand that the, the check that we were able to get for you, you're going to be using in here for a bunch of different experiments for all the students. So, Absolutely. Uh, we have some fun stuff ready for you guys. I didn't want to, you know, be the guy showing up without a project, so I've been doing a little STEM project at home where I've been checking out my air quality. So I know you guys have a lot of fun experiments that we're gonna do, but I want you to see the experiment that I have been doing at home. So Arts and Crafts time made these little boxes, put some packing tape on the back. I hung these up for the last week, just kind of see what was floating around. And as you can see, they are not clear. They are hairs and dirt and dust right. and dander. So I went out and I got myself a filtrate air purifier. I wanted to make sure that my air was as clean as possible. And you guys should be proud because you have a zero here. That means your air is really clean. Like these things will detect all sorts of stuff. But here, let's just go with hairspray, right? So I just spray it around. Right there, air quality 154, wow. zipped right up. But you notice I didn't have to hit any buttons. I didn't have to do anything. Wow. The fan shot up, it sucked it in. We're at 58, we got yellow here oh, on the front. Oh, color. The fact that it automatically clicked on was very, very convenient and efficient. Right. And I am not taking this with me. This is a gift for you the filtrate air purifier it is the perfect thing to keep your air clean thank you for this stem program that we're going to show you today we're going to introduce our students to the various types of science technology engineering and mathematics what we're looking at today is mostly our physics engineering corner then we have a biology dissection corner. We have our esophagus. And then of course, we're gonna have a chemistry corner. The first experiment we are doing is ooey gooey, which means we are making slime. Pour the measured PVA solution into the mini cups. So we're moving on to borax. This is going to do the magic. Shake it up. Go ahead and check it out. All right, here we go. Some real slime there. Creating slime is science. 
The next project we're doing is Bubbly Wubbly. Where we mix vinegar and baking soda and we make bubbles. So baking soda is a base, vinegar is an acid when they come together. Bubbles everywhere. So this is a similar reaction that you get when you have those bath bombs. Oh, so if you ever had a bath, bath bomb, bombs do what bath they're bombs They're the same do. thing. I did not know that. Ms. Eatman taught me that trick. I have enjoyed myself thoroughly here at the uh, chemistry corner. Where are we going next? Uh, dissections. We are going to dissect a frog. So, start with the scalpel and then you can always use scissors. All right. Good, so now you can use the tweezers and kind of move the intestines and stuff around. I think all the students were really excited about dissecting the frog. We have the liver. Do they have gallbladders? Gallbladder. Mm -hmm. Do they have an appendix? Uh, I wouldn't think so. Do they have kidneys? George, yeah. he, he went for it. Well, let me see, we have, a, we have our esophagus. I will say he was not shy, he was definitely engaged. Oh, there's a stomach. Oh my God. So in our next activity, we are looking at this physics engineering corner where the students will be able to tinker with materials, little plastic pieces and paper, dowels, things that you can kind of find in order to help students to build and create. Sail car. Get that thing out on a windy day. To see this grant money go to our students is going to be amazing because it's going to provide them the opportunity to engage with science in a way that they might not have had the chance to before. It's really cool being here today, seeing the students engage with Ms. Jacobs, with Ms. Eatman. You can see it in their faces. You can see it in their enthusiasm. I'm so grateful for George and 3M and Donors Choose for coming to our school today. And our students loved it. And I hope George comes back next time. Teachers need our support. Anything I can do to help them, I always will. Good job, guys. I hope you enjoyed this special episode of George to Rescue as much as we did. It really is so touching to see how these experiences and these relationships continue to change lives. I hope they inspire you to help those in need in your neighborhood. Thank you so much for watching that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video.